Okay, question 31 of the Black Town Boys 2020 trial. A particle moves in a straight line. At time t seconds, its displacement is x meters from the origin o on the line. The velocity of this particle is given by v is equal to 2 minus 4 cosine 2t from 0 to t, uh, from 0 is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. Find the initial velocity of this particle. So initial just means when t is equal to 0. So v is equal to 2 minus 4 cosine of 2 lots of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So we have 2 minus 4 lots of 1, which is negative 2. And I'm just going to put in my units of meters per second because t seconds, x meters. Question B, find all the times when the particle is at rest, where 0 is less than or equal to t, to, uh, to t, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. So the particle is at rest when the velocity is 0. So we need to make 2 minus 4, four cosine of 2t equal to 0. So we have 4 cosine of 2t is equal to 2 cosine of 2t is equal to half. Now, this is 2t, so what we actually need to do to this, we need to amend it. We need to amend it to 2t and 4 pi. Okay, we need times all of them by 2, because it says 2t. So whatever our answer, uh, whatever answer we get for the angle, we actually need to make sure it's within this new domain. So 2t is therefore equal to the inverse cos of half. Sixty degrees, which is pi on three. Now all stations to central, where is cosine um positive because it's positive half, positive here and here. So this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees. I find it easiest just to write everything in degrees, so let's just do that first. 60 degrees and then 300 degrees. That's within 0 and 2 pi, but we need to go all the way up to 4 pi. So I'm going to add 360 degrees to both. 60 plus 360 is 420. 300 plus 360 is 660. And now I'm just going to convert each of these. Well, at first I need to find what t is equal to, and then I'll convert it all to, um, to radians. So if 2t is equal to all of those, t has to equal to 30, 150, um, 210, and 330. Let's now convert them to radians. So 30 and 180, which is pi on 6. One fifty on one eighty is five pi on six. Two ten on one eighty seven pi on six. And three thirty on one eighty eleven pi on six. And these are all seconds.
Question C. Sketch the graph of V as a function in terms of T, showing all key features. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch my plane. Actually, let's just use let's just use a straight line. So just remember, right? We've got our velocity here, which is in meters per second, and we've got our time here, which is in seconds. Now our time is going to go all the way to two pi. Okay, because the question before wants us to go from zero to two pi. So half of that is that's pi there. Now we notice that all our answers from before, for when they were at rest, they're all over six. So I might just divide each of these into six. So it's just a rough estimation. So that means that's pi on 6, 2 pi on 6, 3 pi on 6, etc. Okay. So when were they at rest, which is when velocity is 0? They were arrested pi on 6, 5 pi on 6, 7 pi on 6, and 11 pi on 6. So that's here. 5 pi on 6, 7 pi on 6, and 11 pi on 6. We know that the velocity um, was at minus 2 initially. I'm just going to do that over here. And is that all we got from this question? Yes, that's it. So what I would probably do now is just sub in some more values to um, see what the curve looks like. I'll definitely need it for 2 pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite the uh, the velocity function here so I don't have to keep scrolling up. So v is equal to 2 minus 4 cosine 2t. And now I can just sub in values into this. So I'm going to put this into radian mode. So that's shift mode and 4. So I can do 2 minus 4 cosine of 2 lots of 2 pi because oops 2 lots of 2 pi so when t is equal to 2 pi seconds velocity is at negative 2 so that's down here let's see what it is when it's at pi so we've got 2 lots of just pi also minus 2. Let's do when it's 3 pi on 6. So we've got 3 pi on 6. That's 6. So that's 2. Let's just say that that's 6. Let's make sure it's just above it. Um, let's have a look for 9 pi on 6, also 6, and that should be enough, that should be enough uh, for us to know what the curve is going to look like.
and that's it. Might be helpful to just label a few of these. I'll just say nine pi on six. You can say you know uh, three pi on two. I'll I'll say pi on two here. Right. I'll say pi comma minus two. Two pi minus two. Okay, question D. Find the acceleration of the particle when t is equal to pi on 2. So if v is equal to 2 minus 4 cosine 2t, then in order for us to find the acceleration, we need to differentiate this. Our constant of 2 will disappear. So we just need to technically um, differentiate this. So what do we get when we differentiate cosine? So I'm going to go back to my reference sheet. This is formula that we'll be using. When we differentiate cosine, we're going to get negative f dash of x of sine f of x. So whatever f of x is, we need to differentiate that. Here's our f of x. Here's our f of x, or f of t. Differentiate that, we get um, 2. So we've got negative 4 times 2 times negative sine f of x. So this is just going to become a positive. sine of 2t. So acceleration is going to be 8 sine 2t. So when t is equal to pi on 2, the acceleration will be 8 sine 2 times pi on 2 is just pi. Sine of 180, or sine pi, let's see what that's equal to. 0. So acceleration is just zero meters per second squared. Okay, question E. Find the exact displacement of this particle when t is equal to pi, given that its initial displacement is three meters to the right of the origin. So according to this question, when t is equal to zero, x is equal to positive 3 because it's to the right of the origin. If it said left, we would write x is equal to negative 3. So the velocity is 2 minus 4 cosine 2t. And we want to find displacement. We need to integrate that with respect to t. So when we integrate um, v, uh, when we integrate 2, we get 2t. When we integrate this, what do we get? Well, I might need to split this up. I might write that here, cosine 2t, because I might need to manipulate this. Let me just go back to my formula sheet, just to double check. When we integrate cosine, we need f dash of x in front of it before we can integrate it. So my f of t is 2t. When we differentiate that, we get 2t. Oh, sorry, we get 2. So I need to manipulate this by putting 2 on the outside and then another 2 here. 2 times 2 will give us the 4 dt. So we get 2t minus 2 lots of... When we differentiate... Oh, sorry, when we integrate cosine, we get sine f of x. So sine 2t plus c. We need to work out what c is. Now, when we wrote up here, it says when t is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. So 3 is equal to 2 lots of 0 minus 2 sine of 2 lots of 0 plus c. 
plus c. Sine of 0 is 0. So we can see that c is equal to 3. The constant is 3. So that means that the displacement function is 2t minus 2 sine 2t plus 3. Now the question says, find the exact displacement when t is equal to pi. So when t is equal to pi, x is equal to 2 pi minus 2 sine 2 pi plus 3. What is 2 sine 2 pi? So sine of 2 pi, remember this is in radians mode, that's 0, so 2 times 0 is 0 anyway, so we get 2 pi plus 3. Now this is positive, okay, so this is 2 pi plus 3 meters to the right of the origin.